So at this point here, we've got the stream running below a stone culvert under a path, comes out the other side, uh, hits this leaky dam, and it, it's split by the leaky dam into two rivulets. So previously it was just running straight down, and it's now sort of fanning out across the woodland floor. And this stream is effectively absorbed by the woodland, as we'll see shortly. Uh, further down, the, the woodland is actually taking up all of that water there, and instead of it going straight into um, Crimsworth Dean Beck, so that's the original stream course there. This is the water that we've diverted. And as we can see, the diverted water is just disappears into the woodland soils. Here, what previously was quite an incised gully, which water was traveling down very quickly. We filled it up with brash and logs. And the effect is to push out the water, effectively back onto the floodplain, if you like. So we can see here, we've got overbank flow going on. So rather, it, it being channel flow in a narrow channel which is very rapid and very destructive the water is flowing a sheet flow across the woodland floor so it's got an opportunity to actually be absorbed by the woodland floor so where in areas of woodland where we don't have any streams but we've got fell logs um, what we've been doing is positioning the logs to run parallel with the contours and uh, the idea of that is to intercept the runoff down the slope so when the runoff hits these logs it's got a chance to be absorbed by the woodland floor and um, they're working quite well. So we've got these everywhere we, where we don't have streams, but we've got logs. So, <coughs> some of the tools that we're using today, you've probably not seen them before. The reason we do tool talks is because we carry out risk assessments. Uh, we're working in uh, a strange environment, a risky environment, uh, and many of the people that come here have not worked here before, have not worked with the tools that we're using before. So we need to make sure that uh, all these volunteers are familiar with the type of tools that we're going to be using. Probably the most aggressive and dangerous thing that you're going to be using today is a bow saw, anvil type loppers, different bits of log handling equipment. We've got log jaws. We've got single tongs designed to be used by one person, pointed jaws, a pointed spike, used for turning the timber or lifting it, get it well engaged into the timber and spin. The whole essence of tool talks and risk assessments is to make sure that people are working safely and basically that they all go home at the end of the day without any injuries and that's a success for us. If they've enjoyed themselves, got away without any injuries, that's a success.